Hi there, my name is Jay Mashalani and this is fixing Windows 8. So basically I am trying to find a way to make Windows 8 a bit better. Uh, honestly, it's one of my favorite OS's of all time. I really like what they're trying, uh, but some users don't really think that. And I've been in a quest to not make Windows 8 better, but take the idea Microsoft has with Windows 8 and try to make something that is more polished and respects their own philosophy and ideas. This is a short video trying to explain some of the stuff. You should go to my website where I will post all the screenshots, all the details, the whole report that I create, a whole design exercise right there. The link will be in the bar. You can just go to jmashalani.com uh, for the full um, design fix language thing images and everything. So let's get into it. When fixing Windows 8, uh, you first need to understand what Windows 8 is and what is the problem. From there I created five laws that should bring some ideas about uh, where Windows 8 should be, how it should look, and what do users think about it in general. It needs to follow Microsoft interests but all of the users feedback at the same time. Rule number one, Microsoft wants to create a central store or ecosystem. Microsoft is trying to have one place where we can get all the apps you want with a Windows Store. The problem with the Windows Store is that those apps only run in the metro environment and if you're using a big 40 inch display like I am, it kind of sucks to have the music app take 40 inch of your space. We will get into that later on. First laws in Microsoft Microsoft perspective, they want to create one store where you can get all the apps and that they share, you know, a central idea to the way they look, the way they function and so on. Law number two, Microsoft is adopting a new design language. The name of that design language was Metro. Microsoft, because of some lawsuit and other crap, uh, decided to put the Metro name on the side for a modern Windows 8 style. I don't freaking care. For this video, for this research, uh, I use Metro. You have a lot of people in branding and marketing trying to find something better than Metro. If you can't use it, fight for it. I don't care. I like Metro. I'm gonna use Metro. You're gonna understand Metro. Yay. So Microsoft that is adopting a new design language. You know, Windows 8, you can see that the, the, the style is flat, uh, lots of colors, big squares, tiles, it's moving, it's touch, big typography. Actually, it's not really flat, it's gradients. You can understand that Microsoft is going into a certain place throughout the whole company. So you can see with Xbox, Windows Phone, Bing, uh, and Windows, of course, that they're going to a certain style. So we need to respect that style because this is one of Microsoft's laws. Law number three, Windows 8 needs to work on tablet and PCs. Now, some people said, well, do a separate uh, Metro version of Windows and leave us desktop users with uh, our classic taskbar. Well, that doesn't really work because we're no longer in an environment uh, and in a, an ecosystem of devices where you do only one thing on it. I have myself a Surface Pro 2, so this is a tablet, but I can just switch it to uh, whatever I want. Either it's a tablet, either it's a laptop, I can plug it in and it becomes a whole workstation. So I can't really have two OS's to boot on, uh, so that doesn't really work. But Windows 8 needs to work on those two types of devices. This is where the confusion begins with the current version of Windows 8 and this is what we're trying to fix, but this is law number three and it's very important. Law number four, mouse and keyboard users does not want a touch UI. That is understandable. When you're using a mouse, you have something that is very, very precise and it is very stupid to actually try to do those gestures uh, to get, let's say, the charms bar where you put your mouse on the bottom right and you put it up for it to open and then from there you go to settings and shut down computer. That doesn't make a lot of sense. The star screen is great, I like it, but it's not optimal for touch and, uh, sorry, for mouse and keyboard users. Uh, nah, not really. Law number five, tablet users does not want a desktop bypass. So it works on the other way. I have a tablet, I use my fingers. It doesn't really make it fun when I have to go through a desktop that is super small, cramped with functions and sub-menus. Uh, no, that doesn't really work and make me happy. So yeah, I have a mouse, but I have to use those weird gestures because I don't have a touch screen. And I have a tablet, but I have to go back to a desktop to do some settings that are important and use some of the apps that I don't know can have and touch and so on. It's confusing for everyone and that is where the problem begins. 
So how do we fix that? Um, how can we fix Windows 8? I think I have a solution. Again, this is a solution to fix Windows 8, not a big innovative idea about how to make computing way better. It's more of Microsoft had a vision, they had some problem with execution. Now, how can we fix Windows 8 to put it, you know, back on track to that, you know, future of next-gen computing goody stuff with all those different computers. So this is, you know, a lot of those things already exist. A lot of those things are simple ideas. There's even apps you can download that will mimic those functionality. But again, this is for Microsoft as a Windows 8.2 update or something they could, you know, deploy very fast in order to take the idea they had, build something that is workable for everyone and from there with a nice ground work that everybody would love um, evolve Windows and not involve on something that not a lot of users want and everybody's confused so this is the idea here.